Well, hello there, everybody. This is Brandon, and I just wanted to share something with you real quick. Uh, right now, there's a Createable bundle called the Winter Mac Bundle. One of the things that's in this bundle is Crossover. Now, I've used Crossover for a number of years. I did a post a long time ago about an app called R Admin that we used at another company that I worked for. And so basically, Crossover is a Windows emulator. It's like wine, but it's specifically made for the Mac, and it just makes life easy, and I like it. Basically, this product is about 50 bucks, but in the Mac bundle right now, you can spend like 9 bucks for that and uh, get Crossover and a number of other applications. So basically what I'm going to do here, I've bought the bundle, I've installed Crossover. Now I'm going to come on over here, and I'm going to create a bottle. Well, actually, I've already created a bottle, and the bottle is a Windows 8 bottle. This is the crossover interface here. It's a Windows 8 bottle. I'm going to go ahead and come down here, right-click, and install software into this VMware client uh, bottle. Now, it is not supported, so I'm going to select Other Application. I have already installed the .NET Framework uh, 3.5 and 4.0, so you know. Now, basically, I'm going to go ahead and run through this and select an installer. The installer that I'm going to use is that VMware client installer right there. It's going to install it into this Windows 8 bottle that it has called VMware client as I went through the creation of this bottle. I'll go ahead and click install and it's going to run through the installation of my vSphere client. All right, we're going to click OK. See, we get the nice VMware vSphere client splash screen. It's going to go ahead and start the install shill wizard. All right, so I'm going to click Next. I'm going to accept the terms and click Next. Click Next again, and finally Install. Now, what I'm expecting to happen here is that we get almost all the way done, and then it dies on us. Okay, so here's the error that I expected to see. Failed to install install the hcmon driver and if I click OK here what's going to happen is it'll go ahead and roll back the install but in reality the vSphere client is installed so this is my drive C folder and if I were to look inside the program files right now I've got a VMware folder and inside here I've got the client so it's already there what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna back right out of here and I'm gonna make a copy of this drive C folder. I'll just copy and paste it and we'll speed things up with a little movie magic. Okay now that that's copied I'm gonna come on back over here to my install and I'll click OK and when I click on finish it's now rolled back that install. So what I'm gonna do now is it wraps up the rollback here Wait till it tells me that it's done. Click on done there. Let's see if it's in here. It shows that it's still in here, but we're going to wipe this out because it did do a rollback. So I'm just going to delete that drive C and replace it with this drive C. And now we can go ahead and run our vSphere client. So to go ahead and run our VMware client, we're going to go ahead and dig down into our drive C. We're going to go into Program Files. Let's access VMware, Infrastructure, Virtual Infrastructure Client. We're going to go into where the launcher's at, and here's our launcher. We're going to go ahead and open this with Crossover. And here's our vSphere client running in Crossover. I'm going to go ahead and put in 192.168.1.161. This is one of my VMware servers. Okay, let's click log in. Make sure that we can connect. All right. And we are now running the vSphere client in crossover right here on a Mac.